Do you want to know how you can potentially earn more than $50 per hour by doing small jobs on TaskRabbit and if it's even the right opportunity for you? Then this video is for you. My name is Michael and I love testing different ways to make some extra money and many of you have asked me about this platform so therefore I decided to look more into it and in this TaskRabbit review I will explain exactly how it works, both the pros and the cons so you can find out if you should join this platform or not. So let's start by going over who can join before we go over the tasks you can do and how you can earn and the earning potential and all that. And when you go to the sign up form, that's where you can see the countries you can join from because they actually don't have any information as such on the website where it says exactly which countries it's available in. But when you try to create an account, you can see here there are some different countries where you need to choose the phone number because you need to also share your phone number and use that to confirm your account. So that's important to also be aware of. You need to feel comfortable about that. But but anyways, you see, these are the countries where you can currently join TaskRabbit from. And if you do not live in one of these countries, you cannot use this as a way to earn. Then you need to use other similar platforms instead. I also have a full list of different gig economy apps and websites similar to this. So I'll leave that below so then you can go and check that out if you don't live in one of these countries. But let's now then go over what it really offers. So TaskRabbit is a platform where people can go and get help to have tasks done usually at home or at least in the local area and they are of course willing to pay people for that help. It's called like gig and economy where they can just hire people and get help quickly and that's where you get the opportunity to earn. So it is usually at least where you have to show up physically and do the work at someone's home or company. And you need to be aware that you do need to use the app to be able to get access to the tasks and also to easily be able to get an overview of the different tasks. You can download it both for iOS devices and Android devices. So what kind of tasks can you then do? Let's go over that next. So when you go to the FAQ section, you can see some of the examples of different jobs. You can see there is from furniture assembly, IKEA assembly, cleaning, room measurement, you know, baby proofing, minor repairs, all kind of you know different work you can do like yard work, decoration, errands. So there's a lot of different things. Some of them requires a little bit of skills. Others don't require that many skills. Of course, the ones where you need to have more experience. Usually you can also charge a higher fee for it and thereby earn more. But if you think any of these types of jobs sounds interesting for you, let's then talk about the whole process of actually registering and getting started before then going over the full earning potential. So if you want to become a tasker, as TaskRabbit calls it, when you do work there, then you need to just go to the website, you need to sign up, and uh, then you need to build your profile. And that's very important to be aware of that you should not just easily skip over this step because this is where you need to show what you can actually do and your experiences. Of course, this depends on what type of jobs you do, but in general, this is where people will look at you and see if they trust you to do these tasks. And then also you need to confirm your identity. That's very important to understand. In some countries, they will also do a background check because in many cases, you will go to people's home, so they need to make sure that you're actually a real person, that you're legit, and all these kind of things. Also, there will be a registration fee. You can see in some cities, they charge a $25 registration fee. That's important to be aware of. This might be different depending on the country you live in, but you should in general expect to pay a registration fee. So you shouldn't just sign up just to see, oh, maybe there is some task. You should first make sure that this is something you actually want to invest your time in building a profile and taking the time to actually do the jobs because if not, it's just a waste of money. But what is great about it is that as you can also see, you can set your own schedule and work area so you can make sure that you do these tasks in your local area. But of course, the trick here is that in some areas, there will not be many tasks in others, there will be quite a lot. So that's just something to consider also. But once you become a member, it can take several days to get approved. That's important to understand. But if you get approved and everything, then you can just go into the app and start finding the different tasks in your local area. And you can, of course, always just choose which jobs you want to do. So in that sense, it's very flexible because you can choose when to work more or less. Of course, you're dependent on actually others hiring you. So you cannot completely control it. That's very important to also be aware of. But let's also talk about the full earning potential and how you can get paid. 
So when it comes to how much you can earn, then of course it depends on the type of jobs you do. But as you can see, you can set your own rates. But of course, if everyone else uh, that is doing the same type of task as you do charge $15 per hour and then suddenly you charge like 75, there is not a high chance that you will get hired. So you of course need to look at what others are charging also. But what is great, as you can see, you get to keep 100% of what you actually charge because some platforms, they charge, you know, like 25 percent or 20 percent fee of whatever you earn that's not the case here you can see some exams again this can of course vary depending on the country and the area you live in but for example you can see furniture assembly you see the project in general this is not necessarily per hour this is in general you can see 55 to 125 uh, for jobs like this here you see 58 to 116 these are average but you can also if you want to see the full earning potential see there's some feature taskers and for example this one here he has only positive reviews and he's done 175 tasks the average earnings that he's earned here you see that is just above uh, 50 dollars there or around 50 dollars someone else here also for furniture assembly and heavy furniture moving see some of these tasks even have given him more than 75 dollars per hour on average there and he's completed almost 2000 tasks there so you can see the earning potential is quite good if you live in an area with uh, plenty of work and where you do a really good job so people of course will also look at the positive reviews so when you first start you probably need to set your rates a little bit lower and then make sure you really deliver do a great job and provide great service so you get positive reviews and you get more attention and then eventually it can build up you can see there are some people that earn quite a lot here but that's of course not for all tasks and this is not necessarily right when you start these are featured tasks and when they feature them we can also expect these are some of the highest earners so that's just something to be aware of but it is realistic if you put in enough effort to for some tasks get to more than $50 per hour but let's also talk about how you can then get paid when you earn so in general task rapid pays via direct deposit so that means you will get paid directly into your bank account personally I think that is a really great way to get paid of course because you get paid in cash and it's just accessible easily but of course you need a bank account to be able to get this but overall I think it's a great payout uh, options and great payout system and TaskRabbit has existed for years so you can also expect if you do everything uh, properly and get paid everything you will also get the money into your bank account so you shouldn't really worry about that. So to sum it all up, TaskRabbit can be a real way to potentially earn quite good money by doing small tasks. But you do need to do it with the right expectations. Of course, you will not just be able to join and get access to a ton of work right away. It will require effort to build a profile. It will require effort to start small, getting a few tasks, maybe for a little bit less pay, and then you can build up your profile. But then it also has quite a decent earning potential if you live in an area where there are a lot of tasks. That's of course important, but you can go in your country to locations and then you can read more about how many opportunities there are in the different areas. So you can also choose before signing up because you also do need to pay a registration fee. If you think this sounds like something you want to do, I also have more information about how to get started and everything on my website in the full written review. I'll leave a link to that below. Also, I have a full list as I already mentioned in the beginning of a different gig economy jobs you can do because there are many different gig economy platforms and apps. So depending on the area you live in, it might be better to join others or there's also some that's free to join and, and it can also just be a good idea to join several because then you get access to more tasks. So I'll also leave a link to that below. And finally, if what you're interested in is an online income where you can eventually build it up to be completely in charge yourself where you're not depending on other hiring you and where you can also earn when you're not working because if you set up an online business probably that is possible then I do have some information about the exact steps that I have used to build an online income to work completely on my own terms I will also leave a link below so you can go there and check that out but no matter what I hope this video helped you and if it did then make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time I release a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online.